Hi, Wendy here from wendybottrell.com and today uh, we're going to share some ideas on the topic of does your mindset influence self-discipline. We say yes and here's why. You know, self-discipline is our topic this month and today we want to share again some ideas uh, just on the question, does your mindset influence your self-discipline and like we said, we said yes. Um, and we're going to give you our ideas why, but be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments. Now, according to Stanford University psychologist and researcher and author, Carol S. Dweck, there are two kinds of people in the world, those with fixed mindsets and those with growth mindset. Now, our post today explores, uh, explores how your mindset influences self-discipline. So what's the difference between a fixed and a growth mindset? People with fixed mindsets believe their characteristics, traits, and skill sets, they're permanent, and therefore they can't be changed. They're more likely to attribute their success to natural talent and feel attached to and proud of their current level of brilliant skill or brain power, rather than seeking to improve through hard work and focus and people with growth, growth mindsets conversely assume that talent, skill and intelligence are changeable and can grow with patience, practice, learning and hard work. They acknowledge that wherever they stand they can always improve and such they view success as attainable regardless of the starting point. No goal is ever too big. So a fixed mindset is the enemy of self-discipline. If you follow Dweck's uh, model, it's easy to see how a fixed mindset is the enemy of self-discipline. Let's say, for example, that you want to lose weight. Maybe you compare yourself to a very slim or physically fit friend. What if you hear this friend say things like, you know, I've always been small. I have fast metabolism. No matter what I do, I just can't seem to gain weight. You know, this person seems to eat and drink whatever they want, never exercise as far as you know, and they look fantastic, while you, on the other hand, can't seem to lose weight no matter what. You conclude that you just have slow metabolism, accept that you've probably not meant to be any smaller, and believe it's outside your power to make any change that you desire. The truth is that your fixed beliefs are holding you back from reaching your goals. Nothing more. Your fixed mindset steals your power. It puts distance between you and the big idea, although it may take a bit more effort than you're accustomed to, but you can change. It's all about perspective, you know. More often than not, people who achieve results you only dream of have generally put in much more work and effort beside, behind the scenes that is evident on the outside. They just don't talk about it. Think about overnight celebrity. Tales of people who seemingly come out of nowhere uh, into instant stardom. You've never heard them of them before, yet all of a sudden they're everywhere and they make it look so easy. Yet yeah, when you look into their past, you find they've been working extremely hard for years and they've probably been working very consistently for years, finally had a big break, and now they're reaping the benefits of the seeds they'd sown years before. A fixed mindset is close to the idea of hard work, patience, determination, persistence, trial and error, and learning as you go. Yet these are the traits that self-discipline, it's all about. A growth mindset makes self-discipline inevitable. Just as a fixed mindset is the enemy of self-discipline, a growth mindset supercharges self-discipline and positions it as the top of the toolbox um, in your goal-setting toolbox. Let's return to our example of weight loss, assuming a growth mindset this time. What changes? Well, first of all, you acknowledge that you may have troubled, uh, struggled with your weight in the past, but you decide that no matter you know, that's not going to bear on the future. You know you can change. If you do think you have a slow metabolism, 
rather than assuming it's preventing you from losing weight, you'll go see a professional. Maybe have some tests run, sit down and uh, get a history and gain concrete evidence along with some recommendations how to prove. Furthermore, you'll educate yourself on healthy, sustainable weight loss, loss methods, taking your lifestyle preferences and limitations into consideration. You understand that the process may take some time and it won't always be fun, yet you're aware of why you want to lose weight in the first place. Remember your why is the most important. Commit to the goal. Believe that with time, focus and determination, you can make it happen. Which mindset do you have? In Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, Dweck's book, she explains uh, that it's common to have a fixed mindset in some areas and a growth mindset in others. If you're naturally introverted or maybe more on the shore, shy side, you may have low confidence in some social situations, yet a growth mindset may push you out of your comfort zone and go to events where you'll meet new people and try new things. On the other hand, since you've always been shy, perhaps you spend lots of times reading books and studying as a younger person, thus effortlessly achieving academic success. You may consider yourself naturally smart and have a fixed mindset in this area specifically. You can change your mindset. One of the first things uh, and first steps is to improve your self-discipline is to become self-aware. If you analyze your personality and find that you have a fixed mindset, you know that you can change that. Dweck explains, mindsets are just beliefs. They're powerful beliefs, but they're just something in your mind and you can change your mind. You just have to ask yourself, is this true about you? So we asked the question today, does your mindset influ influence self-discipline? Hopefully we've shared some ideas on why we think it's yes. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments in the uh, area below. If you found value here today, please like and share this post. We invite you to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to get in touch with us and let us know how we can help you. We'll leave a link, a link and we invite you to uh, subscribe to our um, newsletter in the show notes. Uh, my name's Wendy. Uh, you can find us at wendybottrell.com. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.